right, lads. Here we go with today's video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Yes. That's right. You've read the title and thumbnail. We're doing a how-to video on how to create a super team in NBA 2K21. If you don't watch my videos regularly, I suggest you do. I post two times a day, so if that's something that you're interested in, go down there, subscribe. And you know what? I've been asked quite a few times if you guys don't know how to do it. Here's the video, guys. Here's the video. Before we do jump into the video, go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing if you are new to the channel. We post my league videos twice a day, so if that's interesting to you, go down there, subscribe. Hit the bell as well so you're notified every time I upload. Also, like the video. Helps us out a bunch. Cheers, lads. Right, to prove that this does work and uh, that you can do it with just about any team, we're just going to start it off with this team, the Houston Rockets. As you guys may or may not know, the Houston Rockets are a very capped out team. Before we do jump into it, though, I will show you guys the settings that I use. So, I keep all that off. I turn automatic league, exp league expansion, progressive fatigue, team chemistry, and rule changes off. And then I do turn recently traded, recently signed, and rookie signing restrictions off, and the step in rule off. And I turn injuries off for obvious reasons. As you guys can see right there, the Rockets are negative 28 million in the cap. With this strategy, I will show you guys how to go over even more over that cap. Um, because we're in 2k right uh, and not in the real life we are able to go so far over the cap it doesn't matter because we don't pay tax <laughs> in real life this is nba taxes nba teams for going over the salary cap uh that's why every time they go over that teams don't want to go over it because they're going to be paying so much more extra and the more you go over the more tax you have to pay and nba teams don't want to spend more money than you know they have to uh so most teams try and stay underneath the salary cap but because we're in 2K, none of that realistic stuff. Uh, we're going to be going uh, as far as we can over. I'm pretty sure it's 95 million you can go to. Uh, but if you re-sign players, you can go to like 109 million, if I'm not mistaken. First tip that I do have for you. This is just a sly one, by the way. Change players positions, lads. If you guys don't want to change players positions, go ahead. You don't have to. Um, I do like doing it. Experiment what players get better at what positions. And then you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. If you guys don't know how to do that, on an Xbox controller, controller uh, you just press the start button and then you can just use these to these sticks to go up and down to change their positions it's not too difficult and I'm pretty sure it's just whatever your start button is on your controller and then just use your right analog stick to change position it's that simple right so what we're gonna do right now is trade up for more cap uh, this is how you're gonna do it so uh, if I offered up Eric Gordon and say it doesn't even have to be anyone crazy like Ben McLemore uh, as combined as total that is what 18 million in salary if I go like this if I could possibly find such as a Draymond Green who's currently 22 million that takes us extra over the cap it doesn't matter about value normally the more money they have the more valuable they are once again you do your changing position trick that I taught you just before uh, and then you could go with Chris Clemens Draymond Green and you could get yourself Let's have a look, see in this trade finder, anyone making over 22 million. So combined, Draymond Green and Chris Clements, you have, what, 23 million? Right here, you can get Buddy Heald for 24 million, plus also Hassan Whiteside. Sometimes trades like this happen, uh, where you can get a very valuable player with a very large contract, which is very, very handy. So trades like this, uh, I'll try and find another one for you guys if one does come up. There, this Al Horford deal, who's making 27.5 million. He's also a center, which means he can be moved to power forward and made a higher uh, overall, which means his value will go up. So trades like that are very, very handy to do. So do that changing position trick that I taught you, you know, press start at right analog stick, uh, confirm changes. And look at that, Al Horford is now making 27.5 mil on, uh, is, and is now an 82 overall. We got him for a 79 overall, and now he's an 82. If we pair Al Horford with, say, a minimum guy such as Damian Lee, we have a squeeze here, we can get someone that's making 34 million in Tobias Harris, which is a very, very good option. Uh, I will probably do that Tobias Harris deal. Sometimes you do have to chuck in picks and all that to make it work, but it's worth it. So if we go over to this salary cap here, we can show you guys. Now, when we started, we were what, 22 million? We're now 44 million into the cap. If you keep doing this process over and over and over again, you can get yourself like a starting five of all max contracts. 
So once your team is starting to look like this, where you've got five players that are making, what, over 10 million a year, and your salary cap situation is looking like a negative 61 million, you can go over to free agents here, and you do have a mid-level exception that you can use. So if you go over to, say, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, go to negotiate contract, you can offer another 5.76 million over two years, give them a player option, and they're more, more than likely going to accept it. Boom, Rondé Hollis. By the way, uh, Isaiah Thomas doesn't normally accept the mid-level exception uh, in, you know, the free agency. You normally have to give him a no-trade clause for him to do that. And then you've got another five mil that you've just added onto your salary cap, which is very, very handy. And you can go over here and trade for a player such as Larry Nance Jr., who's making 11 million, which is more than both of our players that we just traded combined. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you only have 11 players on your roster, which means you, you can't offer someone up and straight up get a pick. You need at least 11 players on your roster for the entire uh for trades to work so you can go over to free agency again go to a minimum contract player such as gerald green go to negotiate contract and you can get yourself another player on the minimum deal so you can go over here once again use that player swapping technique that i taught you earlier in the video have an experiment see what players go up at what positions and then once you do that you can pair two minimum contracts together and you can once again trade for more value such as two minimum contracts getting me a contract that is worth 3.5 million either way you're moving on up in the world sometimes pairing picks with trades as well also gets you more cap space such as see look at this 14 uh, 18 million there probably not that best trade to do uh, I'd probably do this Ricky Rubio deal unless something crazy came up. I'd probably go that rookie Ricky Rubio deal. Uh, that's probably the best one that you're going to be getting here. So I'd go Ricky Rubio. You can get yourself another 17 million added onto the cap. If we go 17 here with Bobby Portis, which is what, 17, 18, 19, 20? 20 million in cap space, which means we can get Draymond Green. Don't be afraid of trading players back for players you've already traded for. Because once, like a Draymond Green is always, always, always handy to have on you because of that contract. Once again, you can pair a first with Draymond and JJ Barea, and you can get yourself Buddy Hield, who's making more money. And also, you get Hassan Whiteside. That's a very handy, valuable option. And see, look here. You can trade Hassan, experimented with his position. He's now a power forward. Uh, Buddy Hield and uh, Ben McLemore in a second. And you can get yourself Rudy Gobert, which is also very handy. He's making a max contract and pretty much making a super team here uh, with the Houston Rockets. Do the same with your bench as much as you want, as long as you stay underneath that $95 million range. As you can see, we started with what? $22 million over the cap. We're now at $88 million. Uh, it's crazy uh, how, what you can actually do here uh, with the cap space, building a super team. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to go again. I'm going to show you guys again. It's going to be in fast forward. I'll do every single step. So if you guys want to pause the video and show, see what's happening, uh, I'll show you guys how to get a maxed out super team. Righto, so here we go. We're negative 16 million. Keep that number in mind. We're negative 16 million in the cap right now, which means we've got a lot of trading to do. So let's just get, get right into it, shall we? See what happens. Let the fast forward begin now. Yeah, you better listen. I'm bringing heat. You'll be a fan when I start rapping. Way I'll have your fucking head spinning. 
I'm known as spit vicious. Release bombs and go tick tick. Boom, you blow me that head missing. I'm a phenomenon. Stacking cheese like it's Parmesan. Eight different flows call me Optimum. I'm moving fast like the Autobahn. And I'm independent, so I'm not your fucking starving like it's Ramadan. Sick, twisted, gifted, can't copy, printed, can't hold me down. I shape shift, I'm liquid. I took this beat, I might get convicted. They know how I move, it was predicted. Persistence, spoke it into existence. So consistent, no assistance. Hear me once, become addicted. If I rap it, then I live it. There's no cap and I be breaking this. This ain't what you want, bitch. I'm a fucking phenomenon. What you want, bitch, I'm a fucking phenomenon. And that, right there, is how you create a super team. If you guys were paying attention through that, uh, thank you. Uh, if you've skipped right ahead to here, which I've given you guys the option to, um, as you can see, we're negative 87 million in the cap. And look at this team. This team would do absolutely fantastic in the NBA. Look, we've got Jar, Booker, Middleton, Pazingas, and Vucevic, and then McCollum, Allen, Rubio, Shake, Milton. Like, this team is very, very good. I cannot stress the importance of if you can get really cheap young players, like Trey Young, Jar Morant, um, Jared Allen, you know, Shake Milton. Good players. Players that are on little contracts, uh, they're very, very handy, especially coming into free agency. So I suggest doing that before you go absolutely ham and getting the CJ McCollum's Vucevic Pazingas off your bench. But yeah, that'll just about do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys all have enjoyed and learned something today. If you have, go down there, like the video. It helps us out a whole bunch. Also, if you haven't, go down there, subscribe. If you're watching right now and haven't subscribed, I suggest you do so. I post videos like this on my league all the time. So go down there, subscribe, turn on the bell as well that'd be fantastic but lads that's gonna do it hopefully you guys all enjoyed learned something today and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace